right, moving on. Her landlord refuses to make the necessary repairs to her apartment. She's refusing to pay rent. So now she might be getting evicted. And apparently, the plot twist is the landlord is her mother. All right, so um, if you have like a dilemma or, a, you know, any kind of need advice, you can always go to thebirdshow.com and hit us up and we will we will try to do our best to help you out. Maybe some Bird Show listeners have been through the same thing as you. So the email reads, I'm in desperate need of help. I'm currently in the middle of being evicted. My landlord has refused to make general basic repairs to my apartment. We will start at the front door. You know, the thing that keeps things and people you don't want in out. Yeah, well, it doesn't shut, let alone lock. My kitchen sink leaks to the link uh, leaks. Excuse me to the point the counter is breaking. There are hot wires that were never covered properly from the garbage disposal right where the heavy leak is. There is black mold throughout the house. For six months we didn't have a kitchen light until I got it replaced. Wow. The walls are literally falling apart. And did I mention it's an old house? So there is lead based paint on the walls, which has caused health problems for my youngest. They have promised since we moved in to paint the walls because the tenant before had passed and all her stuff was still there. And I was told if I cleaned up the house, she would replace the curtains, paint the walls, and shampoo the carpets. It's been five years and nothing. We lived in one room of this apartment for the first two years because of the promise to paint and wash carpets. But the little one needed more space, so we had to spread to the rest of the house. There is a leak in our bathroom from an upstairs apartment. Their toilet and tub leak on us when we are in the bathroom. Two years ago, my ceiling in the bathroom literally caved in due to the leak. My shower handle is broken off. I can see into another apartment's bathroom upstairs. My walls are literally falling apart and chipping paint has been a problem since moving in. Now that it's winter, it's freezing because there's no insulation in the walls, just horse hair. And about two weeks ago, we got home and there was a notice due for not paying rent since COVID. Did I mention she got over a $7,000 check for my rent during COVID from a rental assistance program, which she lied on and doubled my rent on the application so she could get twice the money? When asked about the money for fixing the apartment, she said it didn't count for my rent because it didn't come from me. She spent it on a vacation. Now for the twist. The landlord is my mother. (gasps) Yes, her youngest grandchild had lead poisoning and she could have cared less. I have severe asthma and she said nothing about the black mold or lead when we moved in. Not until after my youngest got his test results back and figured out it was lead, uh, it was lead, did she even acknowledge it? Our insurance was going to bring in an inspector to see exactly where the lead was coming from, but when I told her they were coming, you would have thought I murdered a puppy. She started screaming, saying I wasn't going to have a place to live because they would condemn the building. She was so pissy that I had to cancel the inspection. Now we are being kicked out days before Christmas and right before her youngest grandson's fifth birthday. Am I an a-hole for not paying rent? What are my options? I've been looking for an apartment with enough room to fit all my kids, but everything is way too expensive. We live paycheck to paycheck. Thanks for reading. That's that's a tough position to be in because it is hard to get a new apartment having to put down deposits and first and last month's rent. And a lot of landlords make you prove that you can make three times your um, rent payment in order to secure it. And so I understand why you stayed there. Um, you probably could sue your mother over the lead paint if you wanted to and health issues. If I were you, I'd probably try and make up with her. And then instead of paying rent, I would just put the money back into the property to fix it. And that's not fair. I'm going to go ahead and say that. But it sounds like that is best case scenario for you right now. If you can't afford to move into another apartment or find an assistance program, then move in and say, listen, instead of paying you rent, I'm going to start fixing up the house with the money I would have paid you in rent to make this a safe place. Because if your kid's under six, that lead poisoning can have a really, really damaging effect. Mo, what would you do? I don't know. This is heavy, man. Um, The fact that there's health issues involved here, you obviously have to take it a lot more seriously than if it was just other things. And it's your mom. So now the the relationship that you're going to have with your mother is on the line. I probably would try to find a way to just be done with it all and move somewhere with my kids any way possible, if that is possible. And I probably would sue my mother because I would think that Mm -hmm. after this, the relationship with my mother is tarnished anyway. I don't think we would ever be the same. So for me, I would try to find a way possible to just be done with her and be done with this place and move my kids somewhere where it's safe. Yeah, and not only do I not think you're an a-hole for not paying rent, but um, I would go like be a-hole extraordinaire and I would put the inspection back on the books and I would have the building condemned because this is this is dangerous. 
Yeah, the livable conditions are like I can't even <laughs> I cannot fathom the fact that your mom cares so little for your kids that she's willing to pretty much push you in a corner and make you live here. So I'm with Cassie. I think you gotta find some kind of compromise here, but only if it's healthy for you and your family. Because trust me, moving is very expensive. So if you can find a way to make this work and repair the relationship with your mother, it's probably the best case scenario for everybody. The Bird Show.